Hello again, everybody. It's Bill, and you're watching Bill's Box of Sound. And this is number two in a series of posthumous Frank Zappa CD releases. Uh, we're going to start this one with official release number 76, released in 2006, Imaginary Diseases. This is a live concert from 1972 with a 10-piece band one CD. It is still available. Comes with a nice little booklet here. That's the, the lineup. And the songs are listed right here. Mostly instrumental. Pretty cool stuff. Once again, mixed, edited, etc. by Frank and uh, never actually prepared for release until it came out in 2006. Next up, we've got two releases that are kind of one. We've got the four CD MoFo, and we've got the two CD MoFo. Now, what is MoFo? It's the Making of Freak Out, a project object release. Now, this four CD version is no longer available. It was available mail order only. And of course, since it's, since it's not available anymore, this is one of the albums that has my name inside of it because I helped uh, finance it by buying it <laughs> ahead of time, way ahead of time. And it's very fascinating packaging. You've got one CD, two CDs. Who are the brain police? three CDs, fuck, and four CDs, along with an extensive booklet and a full-size freak map. Um, I'm sure that if you really look hard, you can find used copies of this, but this is not really currently available. However, the two CD version, there's one CD and the other CD, is there's the other cd with a lovely picture of the young frank and it's got lots of great details in the booklet disc one has the original vinyl mix of freak out lovingly remastered by doug sax oh look there's gail And, whoa, hiya, Frank. Da -da -da -da. Miniature freakout map. This two CD set is currently available. Now, uh, the currently available version of the freakout album has the remixed version by Frank. It's pretty much the same, but this is a little bit better. I like the uh, audio uh, quality this much better. So, Number 77 and 78 in the official release list. Freak out. Making a freak out. Mofo. I'm listening to Pat Metheny, by the way. Anyway, next up. This album, number 79 in the series, also released in 2006, is Transfusion. This is a series of guitar solos, very much in the vein of Shut Up and Play Your Guitar and Guitar. Mostly the 88 band. Those are the tracks on there. And there is Frank. Here is the CD of it. This is some really good stuff here. Mastering's a little loud for, for my, uh, my opinion, but uh, still essential. It is still available. And it doesn't cost a lot, so buy it. <laughs> Next release, number 80, is a two-CD set called Buffalo. This was recorded on October 25th, 1980. And there is your rocking teenage combo right there. Including Mr. Steve Vai on stunt guitar. Here are the tracks. And this is one smoker of a show. I love it. It's still available. You can still buy this. 
So this is fantastic. A whole concert, pretty much warts and all, false starts, restarts, mistakes, etc. But it's a lot of fun. Zappa, Buffalo, official release number 80, released in 2007. Coming up next, release number 81, also released in 2007, the Dub Room Special. Now this is a soundtrack to a video program. This one here, the Dub Room Special. Ta-da! I first saw this in a theater. Um, it was shown from three quarter inch Umatic cassettes inside of the Variety Theater at, in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, this videotape made a tour around the country and lots of people saw it. And then finally it was mastered to DVD and released. This is the mixes from that and some good stuff. Uh, this is uh, pretty much the 7374 band. And uh, there's a couple of different concerts on here. The Dub Room Special consisted of the, uh, uh, I believe, the KCET uh, concert that also made up a token of his extreme, which we'll explore later on. And also the 1981 Halloween concert that was on MTV. However, the Dub Room Special only had portions of the concert that were not broadcast live on MTV, mostly due to lyrical concerns. Frank uh, financed the whole thing and just loved wearing a Crown PZM microphone on his forehead. So that is release number 81, released in 2007. Now, just as Buffalo is from Buffalo, New York, we've got Wazoo, which was released in this story. Uh, a recording from this date. I believe this is Massachusetts. Yes. Recorded in Boston. This is Wazoo. Release number 82. Released in 2007. Still in print. It is a two CD set. Let's pop out this little cardboard box here. You got a picture of the actual tape box. And some great reproductions of some notes about the uh, the information. Look at that ensemble. And look at that list of musicians. Yes, freeze frame it if you have to. Or you can just do your research online in, in other ways. Um, this is a, a weird mix of uh, stereo left and right but some amazing recordings uh, and also just interesting information about the whole situation. This was uh, when Frank was confined to a wheelchair. This is uh, a Grand Wazoo Orchestra. I mean, how many people are in this band? 21 people in this ensemble. Man. Cool stuff. So... This is uh, very much something to rumple and fetish for yourself. Wazoo. Still in print. Next up, we've got something that's definitely a hodgepodge. Odds and sods, odds and ends thing. And you better get it because it's a one-shot deal. All sorts of crazy stuff on here. Those are the track names. And to find out all the details about them, you got to open up the CD. This is still in print, by the way. And you got to pop out the disc. And you got lots of little print with all sorts of information about each of the tracks and where they're recorded and where they came from. But uh, there's some great stuff on here. Live and studio stuff. Uh... Inclu including the uh, an alternate recording of the Illinois, Illinois and Emma Bandit, Australian Yellow Snow, and also um, a guitar solo that ended up on a, a recording called The Guitar World, according to Frank Zappa, called Heidelberg. So check that one out. One-shot deal. 
Official release number 82, released in 2008. And last but not least, in this cavalcade of Frank Zappa releases, we have a recording that was taken from a cassette tape. But uh, this was recorded at the College of William and Mary, Williamsburg, Virginia, in 1975. And it's called Joe's Menage. Yes, it's part of the Joe's Corsaga series. And the Corsaga continues with a beautiful pink CD. There it is on the alternative label. This is release number 84 released in 2008, and yes, it is still in print. So, that's it for this installment of the Posthumous Zappa releases. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Go listen to some Zappa while you're at it, eh?